Hey, this is Dr. Jonathan Ellerby, and I'm here to answer an important question that's coming up more and more in mainstream media, which is why are we seeing such an incredible preoccupation with altered states of consciousness? We see from Silicon Valley executives to millennials and people of all walks of life, an extraordinary fascination with how we can expand and change the mind. Psychedelics are on the rise, yoga and meditation continue to be on the rise, and all kinds of extreme experiences that induce a different way of seeing the world or feeling the world are on the rise. Now, the obvious answer is that people are trying to escape all the chaos and the imbalance in the world, that people are trying to escape themselves. But I actually think there's an important missing piece, and this is the focus of my new book, the Seven Gateways of Spiritual Experience. The focus of this book and the reason for the growing interest in these experiences is the fact that the experiences themselves are transformative. In other words, it's not what you take or ultimately the outcome that we need to pay attention to. It's the content of the experience itself. And it turns out that even though it seems like there are infinite numbers of spiritual experiences and ways to experience an expanded mind, those experiences typically fall into a pretty narrow range of categories. I would argue seven, and the, the first sort of three of which are the most common. I would say everybody has them, and the last four of which are more unusual, and yet they, they are... Uh, pervasive in spiritual literature, philosophical literature, and even psychological and business literature today. In other words, these experiences are influencing our lives directly and indirectly all the time. Now, I can't cover seven experiences in three minutes, but what I can tell you is that most of these experiences have some things in common. One, they take us out of a sense of the ordinary and in a way that makes us feel it completely compelled to believe that the ordinary world is not only transitory, but we are also able to see that it is a construction of human culture, time, history, and design. In other words, we are more free to create and choose our reality than we think. And you've heard that a lot. The second thing that comes out of it is that we have an expanded sense of self, and that means in our creativity, in our capacity, and in our interconnection with others and all things. That leads us to the next of the core qualities of these extraordinary experiences, which is that they are ultimately meaningful more than virtually any other experiences we have in our lives. And many people will report that their spiritual experiences, regardless of the context or what caused it, their spiritual experiences are some of the most life-changing, life-defining, life-enhancing experiences of their life. And the influences last quite literally forever, or at least until they die. What is that experience of meaning? Well, typically it's about finding your place in the universe. It's about understanding that that profound interconnection doesn't diminish who you are, but in a humbling way expands who you are so that you understand that as tiny as you may be in the magnificent, mysterious eternity of the universe, you are also remarkably important. Every choice, every change, every mode of thought, every feeling is a way of not only constructing your own world and experience, but influencing the world around you. In other words, the sense of self expands. We begin to see others as self, nature as self. And in that way, we are empowered to make positive changes, not only in our own lives, but in the world around us. We realize that we are an intricate part of the fabric of life and everything we are, everything we do can be for the ultimate good of all. And in the spiritual experience, we experience the balance, the blessing, even the pleasure 
and the wholeness of others as the goodness in ourselves. We share in the good of others and we see the diminishment of greed. We see the blossoming of forgiveness and the willingness to help to make a difference and to heal.